Good morning, afternoon, and night. This is your expat investor speaking. Today, we're talking about why I left RBC Direct Investing and why you shouldn't do it. So a lot comes into mind when it comes down to switching brokerages. A lot of things that you have to consider. I have three reasons why I switched from RBC Direct Investing to well, simple. All right, so well, my first reason, and I'm gonna go into this reason a little bit, is the big elephant in the room, fees. Charging $10 per trade. $10 per trade. When you buy a stock, it's $10. When you sell a stock, it's $10. As you One thing I'm gonna go into, I'm going into day trading, and I want to be able to trade more often. Along with that reason, also, it kind of depends a little bit on how much money you invest. Right now, I don't have a giant portfolio as I'm learning how to build wealth internationally. And uh, I, I don't want it anymore. I am done. Wealth Simple provides zero fees. And I'm happy with that. Second on my list is conversional rates. U.S. to Canadian conversional rates are just too much for me. Like sometimes I, I don't trade all the time with uh, U.S. Uh, stocks just because I'm trying to always avoid those conversional fees. It's, it's annoying. You think you're three, four, five bucks up. You think you got a profit you want to take out because you know this company is not going to do so much better or so and so reasons. The, the profit is not that much. Along with the $20 from buy and sell, you're also losing whatever two to three percent on the uh, on the conversional rates which is nuts number three the convenient factor the convenient factor for me is a big one because i went with rbc direct investing it was informed it told you everything it showed you the charts on if it's a buy what people said about buy and sell but this is the 20, uh, 2021 and things are changing these charts don't make sense anymore Someone says buy, someone says sell, something uh, like, for example, uh, Mogul has been on buy for the longest time as it's, uh, as it's uh, dropped nearly like 150% of its original value from its high, yet it's been on buy. And then that goes with so many other companies, so that doesn't mean anything to me now, as well as uh, they, they put all the information, they have many charts there. You can find that all in the internet. There's different apps where you could see up-to-the-date charts. So if I just go ahead and use Wealth Simple, I have all my charts there. And now that Wealth Simple provided, it gives you up to the date, it, minute and second pricing. I don't need that anymore. I, there's no reason for me to stay as a person and leave my money in RBC Direct Investing. Again, I'm not advising you to switch over because it's not the best idea because RBC has been around well over 80 years and they've been a very big bank for us. So I don't want you to switch your money to uh, something that's been around for only six years. Last and foremost, if you've already made it to this part of the video, I ask you to subscribe and like this video if you happen to like it. It helps me show in the algorithm and helps me boost this video as well as if you're interested in joining Wealth Simple. There is a link down below to get two free stocks. So I just want to thank you very much for watching this video.